She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to me You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, yeah, yeah so before we start the video, I do want to shout out Corolla Hat Squad. If you guys do use a discount code, that's right here. Um, you get a discount on your hoodies. They sell shirts, posters. They sell a bunch of good stuff. They don't, don't only sell it on bronze. They sell it on white, blue, black, midnight gray, all of that. I um, want to give them a huge shout out for hooking it up. Thank you Corolla Hat Squad for hooking it up, Super Fire merch. If you guys want to cop the merch, I will put a link down in the description for their Instagram. Other than that, thank you guys for watching the video. Let's get right into the installation. Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a carbon fiber hood installation video. I did get this hood from VIS Racing. I will leave a link down in the description. Give you guys a little close up of the weaves get a better shot look at all those weeds man and so consistent I love the pattern on top it's real fiber real carbon fiber love the vents there's a wide shot of it So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love the top of this hood. But let me show you guys the other side. And let me show you guys what I don't like about this hood. But on top of the hood, it looks amazing. I, I love it. Looks good. It comes with these little protectors. I took them off, but I just wanted to leave one so you guys can see how it comes. Let me just flip it around and show you guys what I don't like. So what I don't like is how Everything is made out of plastic. Like it's a, a hard plastic, but I just don't like how it's made out of plastic. I wish it was made out of carbon fiber. You can take this plastic off right here with these little screws to expose the vents, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because water can get in the engine compartment and I really don't want to have no dirty engine. Because I do plan on painting all my engine uh, plastic parts I will do a video on that but here's the flip side it has the hook and then it also has the little branding and it has the little ports for the water so you can clean your windshield and then here are the two bolts on each side for the hood. I think it's just four bolts and the hood goes on. I saw this. I'm not sure what this is, honestly, but I'll find out what it is. Looks like a stopper of some sort. Not sure, but I'll figure out what it is. Maybe for the hood support, not sure. Also have to figure that out too. But here's the back side. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I do not like how this is all plastic. <sighs> I wish it was all carbon, but hey, not really much like this in the market right now, so I can't really complain. So let's get right into the installation video. All right, what's up guys? So the first thing is remove two 12 millimeter bolts on each side. And then after that, you gotta move this clip right here. And then also right there. And then you gotta remove all these black plastic clips with the panel popper. I'll put all the tools in the link down in the description. 
Let's get to it. All right, so no need to take off the splitter. You just gotta take this hose off because this is the main line that goes onto there. So you can leave this one on and this one on. So you don't have to worry about taking those clips off. The hose just needs to come off. So you can use a flathead screwdriver to just move around that hose and loosen it and it'll pop right off. And then remove the hose from that little bracket and take off this clip with the panel popper. You gotta be careful because you can break it. And then you gotta take off this little black cover that is holding the hose onto the hood. And then you gotta take off that little clip that's putting the hoses onto the actual uh, hood bracket. So you just need a 3 8 ratchet with a 12 millimeter. And you can start loosening. So what I start doing here is I just loosen the bolts to the point where I can loosen it with my fingers. And then I start to go on the hood prop. And I'm gonna take the hood prop completely off because it is gonna get in the way. So might as well take it off now. So you can do this with one person, but it's very it's gonna be very hard. You're gonna need like a wood plank to help you. But luckily I had my dad to help me. Shout out to my dad. He's always helping me on my videos. Thank you so much dad if you're watching this. But then you gotta take the other side off and make sure you have somebody grabbing it or the wood grabbing it and pop it right off. It's super easy with two people, but it will be challenging with one person. So make sure you put your hood in a secure location. What I did is I used two foam pads I use for work, but this part's kind of tricky. Uh, you definitely uh, will be better off having two people, but you can do it with one person. And there's videos on YouTube that I will link down in the description that I found helpful if I were to do it alone. But what I did is I kind of angled it and aligned the bolts uh, to the holes that they go in and I just finger tight them to the point where I know that the hood's not going to come off. And then once that's done, you start putting the hood prop on. And the hood prop's super easy to put on. Don't forget to put the hose. So the weird part about this, I actually had to drill a little hole for the bottom part of the hood prop. I do not know why it came filled in. It makes no sense to me. But I just drilled in a little hole and it was able to fit in the hood prop and just get a 12 millimeter bolt and tighten it. Make sure you don't over tighten it because you can crack that plastic. Um, I just retighten all the four bolts just again to be safe and don't forget that little rubber piece that is blocking the hood latch. Just make sure you close it to verify the fitment. I kind of looked down a little bit. I was like, whoa, it's kind of off, but nah. The fitment on top is looking perfect. I love it. I love the way it looks on the car. It makes it look more aggressive. But now let's talk about the fitment on the underside. So what I don't like, how this piece, how this piece is not on, you can't put it on. There's no hole or anything, you can't put it on, so that sucks. And then also this hose right here, I ran it under there, and you gotta, you gotta tape it all along the side and do it like that. Just gotta get a new setup going, I don't like that. And then these these got stripped so easy, as you can see right there. You can't even take them off with a screwdriver. Let me show you guys. You go. Look, it's already stripping. So you gotta you gotta pop them off. So I don't like that. But other than that, the fitment is good. But just the under, like how I said, I how I told you guys, I. The outside is good, but I didn't like this plastic. Once I saw this plastic, I I just knew something was gonna go wrong, but you definitely gotta fine tune it. I won't make a part two to this video because I gotta edit this video and upload it on Monday. So I will do a part two on editing or fine tuning all the adjustments like that hose right there. And then this whole situation with that, I gotta figure out how to do that and put it here. But other than that, the fitment is pretty good. I'll show you guys somewhere else because there's too much sun right here and it looks bad. But that's so much, that's it for the installation. Pretty good. I wonder what that hole right there is for. That must do something. 2,000 years later. So after you guys install that hood, I do recommend to get your 
hood ceramic coated it will protect the hood for years and years to come shout out to jonathan from bucket brigades he will explain the process the first thing he did was clay bar the whole hood so what is that you're putting uh bead maker is from cns Oh, so it just combines all the... Yeah, it just, and it also makes the ceramic cleaning last a lot longer. It's like a ceramic booster at the same time. So okay. So what, how long do you recommend for me to come back after uh, we wash my car, after ceramic coated? Like, how often do you recommend me come back? Recommending... You can wash your car every two weeks, mm -hmm. or I wash my car personally every three times a week. But actually getting maintenance as a ceramic coating every six months, like mandatory six months. Okay. So what's your business Instagram? Uh, it's Bucket Brigade Details. Uh, been open for about almost two years. We detailed over 400 cars. And that's not close to so what what do you offer? Um, I have from basic washings all the way to three stage paint corrections and ceramic coating. So guys, I actually got my car ceramic coated with him probably like a month ago, and I wanted to make a video, but just things didn't pan out as I wanted. But now I came back to him. I'm always gonna come back to him. This guy is my guy, and it is so worth it, man. He does a great job. I'll put his link down in the description if you guys want to check him out. I'll show you guys the after what ceramic coating does and how important it is to get your hood ceramic coated when it's specially carbon fiber and your paint if you want to last that for a long time. So huge shout out to Jonathan, you man, you are the beast. You are, you are the homie for doing this, bro. I'll put his link down in the description. His prices are unbeatable. Trust me, you guys, when you hear his prices, you guys are going to come right up to him. It is so worth it. Get him while you can before he's huge. So what is this? Uh, this is a two-stage paint correction. And now I'm doing a cut. So taking off all the imperfections off the paint. The wipe off so I can uh, take off all the oils off the polish. Ceramic coating, it's from PNS. It's a three to four year nine H, which is like the thick the thickness of the ceramic coating, so it lasts a lot longer. It gives it saves it from like the harsh chem chemicals inside the airs. This California pollution. Ooh. What about the sun? Even uh, worse, huh? Uh, the sun's Ooh. terrible. All right, guys, so this is the hood done. She got a mirror finish. It looks way more glossier. Yo, shout out to Jonathan. I appreciate you so much, bro. He actually even washed my car. Like I said, if you guys are looking to get your car ceramic coated or even detailed, please hit him up. He has the best prices around. He lives in SoCal, so Depending how far you live from him, he'll show up or you can come up to his house like I do. To me, it's better to come to his house. This is where he's the most comfortable. So, shout out to you, Jonathan. Thank you, man. Oh, and I also just took off my lip. Look how weird it looks, but I should be getting one soon. So I was able to get better lighting. So look guys, this is the hood. It looks amazing. I absolutely love it. The ceramic coat just made it way, way better. Like it just looks like a straight mirror, man. And in person, it looks way better. On video, it looks like kind of blacked out, but the closer you get on camera, the better you see the carbon fiber. But man, I love this hood so much. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna block the damage I did on my front bumper. It's actually a pretty cool idea. 
Shout out to LA Eternal. He's the one who actually gave me this idea. I'll put his link down in the description for his Instagram. He actually gave me this decal too. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Um, I actually ended up putting it backwards like a dummy I am. Uh, big face palm, big face palm, I know. But it looks good regardless. This is what happens when you're lazy and you want to block up all the imperfections of your car. Alright guys, so if you guys reached to this end of the video, I actually am going to do something different. I'm going to be fishing for the first time on this channel. I actually do that all the time, but I'm going to give you guys an explanation of why my Instagram name is Bronzeback. So, hopefully we can catch some fish, hopefully we can catch the cousin of the fish I named my car off of. So, let's get to it. I think I got one. I got one, I got one. So if you guys didn't know, this is actually the cousin species of what I actually named my car. This is a largemouth bass, this is a baby one. But the reason why I named my car Bronzeback is because of this guy's cousin. His cousin is named Bronzeback. He's a smallmouth bass. He literally looks like the color of my car. hook this little guy see if we can catch a bigger one let's release him back probably like maybe 15 inches and I got him off this little crawl but this is what my car's cousin looks like one day I'll catch the bronze back and I'll show you guys but let's go really all right guys that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment of why I named my Instagram my Instagram I'm just super outdoors man I love to fish and I was like, hey, why not I call my car after your fish name? It's unique. Ain't no one gonna know what it's actually about. So, but now you guys know. So the people who get far in this video, they know why my name is Bronzeback. Thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate it. It means so much. You guys are blowing up my channel. This is how you install the hood. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me give you guys a little view.